The average adult's body weight is roughly 60% water, which is also in charge of numerous physiological functions in the body. As a result, maintaining fluid and electrolyte homeostasis is essential for human survival, as shown by the potentially fatal effects of fluid imbalance. The maintenance of a balance between fluid gain and loss is ensured by a number of physiological mechanisms, including the neural control of thirst, hormonal control, hemodynamic changes, and renal control of salt and water excretion. For instance, renal excretion of urine makes sure that excess electrolytes and metabolic waste products are eliminated together with water, ensuring fluid equilibrium. Diuretics, sometimes called water pills, help rid your body of salt or sodium and water. Most of these medicines help your kidneys release more sodium into your urine. This sodium helps remove water from your blood, decreasing the amount of fluid flowing through your veins and arteries. This lowers blood pressure. Diuretics are used as the first line of treatment in patients with hypertension or high blood pressure. In this video, we will talk about diuretics, their types, mechanism of action, and the most used diuretics in clinical practice. So let's get started. To understand the mechanism of action of diuretics, we need to understand diuresis. Diuresis is the body's natural method of removing water and salt from the circulation via urination, and diuretics are drugs that enhance diuresis. Diuresis is necessary to remove extra water when the body unnaturally accumulates fluid in the third space in the form of edema, which is the case for a number of non-edematous and edematous illnesses. Diuretics are helpful in the treatment of a number of illnesses, including edematous states and hypertension, due to their capacity to cause a negative fluid balance. Here are the types of diuretics used in clinical practice. Thiazide diuretics, loop diuretics, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, osmotic diuretics, and potassium-sparing diuretics. The overall goal of diuretic therapy is to increase the amount of water excreted in the urine. Different kinds of diuretics have different mechanisms of action. Now, let's understand the mechanism of action of these diuretics and their clinical significance in clinical practice. In the next video, we will learn about the thiazide diuretics in detail. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support us to learn more. Thank you.